Jordan, you've had a lot of things to talk about today. We've had some rain <laughs> right? out there. Yes. And it looks like more on the way. Yes, plenty of rain on the way. A big old bash is slowly making its way to central Georgia, unfortunately, throughout the night. But hey, we could use the rain as always during the summertime hours. But let's take a look now. A look live now in Macon. Temperatures sitting out there, mid 70s, not raining just yet, but it will eventually. This is the estimated 24 hour rainfall totals for much of the southeast. As you can see here, lots of colors here on the western side of this green, but this is not such a good thing right now. Up to eight inches for some spots of Mississippi. Will we see all that rain as those storms make their way eastward? Well, not quite. You can kind of see where those storms are kind of laggering and just slowly dropping rain, only up to a quarter or an inch of rain later on tonight. But as we head into the morning hours, even all day tomorrow with all the rain that we could get, could cause a potential force or a concern for some flash flooding. Now we do have this batch of storms. Zoom in, kind of see where we're at. It looks like it didn't zoom in that time, but you guys get the point. A lot of rain headed towards our way overnight, and that's all all thanks to this low pressure system with a warm front attached with it, kind of just making all that rain, all that atmospheric moisture from off the Gulf of Mexico headed straight into central Georgia. So be on the lookout. We are going to see some rains overnight, not necessarily any severe storms, but definitely quite a lot of heavy rainfall associated with these storms. This is now 3 a.m. Still starting to see those storms move in over much of central Georgia, just engulfing all of central Georgia as we get into four o'clock. As you can see here, 100% chance of rain expected for tomorrow, according to this model early in the morning. As you head on your way to school or on your way to work, similar situation. Widespread showers and storms, nothing heavy overall light rain, but this will continue throughout the day. The more sunlight we, we see, which won't be a lot, the stronger the storms can get, and even the more isolated the storms get. This is now 11 o'clock in the morning. As you can see, a few isolated systems, but overall scattered showers and thunderstorms moving through as we head into 2 o'clock. This is now 6 o'clock. We do get a break from the rain, maybe some sunshine here and there, but as we head head into 12 o'clock overnight Friday into Friday morning. We're back into that typical summertime pattern with isolated storms overall here and they're headed into the weekend. Now temperatures across the board in the mid 70s, so relatively warm night with dew point temperatures look like our mugginess is over to our eastern counties, but overall pretty muggy throughout the entirety of central Georgia. And tonight we will be dropping to 71 degrees. Again, very muggy sprinkles are possible. Heavy rainfall possible early tomorrow morning. School bus forecast temperatures will be in the mid 70s. Definitely going on with that rain jacket and umbrella on your way out the door tomorrow morning. Here's that seven day forecast temperature highs in the mid 80s as we end the week. As we start the week, temperature highs will be in the lower 90s. Rain chances go just about all week long. 